Hey, it's Paul Hill from ITFlee.com, and in this lesson, we're going to be connecting the virtual machine we just created to the virtual network we've created, and we're going to mount the Windows Server 2016 ISO file that we downloaded earlier. To mount an ISO means to virtually insert a CD into a virtual computer. Don't let the lingo confuse you, it's really simple. All we need to do is open VirtualBox. Once VirtualBox is opened, we're going to select the VM that we want to mount the ISO to. In this case, I'm choosing the VM that we just created. Right click and choose Settings or press Ctrl and S. Next, go to the Storage tab on the left hand side. Select the empty disk icon. Now under the attributes, you can see there's another disk icon on the right hand side. We're going to click that drop down and then we're going to choose virtual optical disk file. Okay, so here's the file that I downloaded. So I'm going to select it and choose open. Now we need to go over to the network tab and add the network. This is really simple. Just select. Now we need to navigate over to the network tab by clicking here on the left. And we can see that under adapter one, the network adapter is already enabled and it's attached to NAT. Now this is not the same as a NAT network. We need to select the drop down list and choose NAT network. Now here we can see the NAT network that I created earlier. And if you chose a different name, you'll see that here. Notice that I only have one in my list. And unless you created more than one, you'll also have one. If you've created more than one, it really doesn't matter at this point since we only have one virtual machine. You can choose any of them. But I do recommend that you clean them up for the future when you want to create more VMs and connect them to the same network. Now click OK. And now the virtual machine has been configured so that it's on our NAT network and it has the Windows Server 2016 ISO mounted. In the next lesson, we're going to be installing Windows Server and then we'll move on from there and configure it and learn how to work with it. Great job getting through this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.